Hello everyone, how is everyone doing today? Hope you all are having a fantastic day, gonna have a fantastic weekend, and so on. Anyways, we are here with Skulk Sensors from the Minecraft 1.17 update. But today we're gonna be going over them, their features, and hopefully applications that they may have and stuff that may be a little overpowered. So let's get right into it. So, Skulk Sensors, they can detect sound and they activate redstone. Whether that's like an activator rail or even a redstone signal, it it outputs a redstone signal. So that can make for interesting things. You can light TNT with it. And Skulk Sensors can pick that up now. Here's the thing. What is Mojang doing when we have this? Does anyone know what this is? Well, let me give you a hint. Let me give you a hint when I don't use an activator rail. Activator rails, they activate a TNT minecart and they do the regular timed thing. But if you use a powered rail and you have a block like this, you can put minecarts like this. So you just put a lot, right? And you put sensor. Now here's the thing. You don't want a sensor there, you want a sensor here. You want to activate this rail. You can use redstone, but when it activates, it's almost an instant explosion. If someone was here, they'd be dead. Quite literally. It is very overpowered here. Let me go a bit more over here. I'll build a little quick test thing to show you guys. So, rail, rail, delete that rail. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Rail, rail, delete. And then just a lot of minecarts. Da -dee -da -dee -da. Oh, nice house! And he is no longer alive. To give you an idea, this is what it looks like, this is what it does. So, you're gonna have to fill in quite a large area if you want to redo it, or if you don't want an ugly hole in your ground. So, that was 568 blocks. So, that is a lot of inventory space, just saying. Anyhow. Let's go over the basics of what it can do. It can give off redstone signals. You can also block sound from getting to it. See, I'm walking here, no sound. The sound can't go through wool, but if I have a saw block, all block will activate, but sound can go through a solid block. Here's a better way of showing that trapdoor. Now if I put Ah. I can't actually place it. Alright, so if you place the wool in the way while well the sound signal is going, it doesn't appear to block it. But what this means is I can send a signal to that, it won't work. Another thing I can do is that. And this will create a loop. But once I add a wool block, it can't go through. Okay, it can go through the board. But if I all blocks, it can go through solid blocks. As you can see. But yeah, it's quite impressive. Anyways, we have this world made by this mod creator that I will show you. Say you have someone walking on top of your fish tank. Uh oh. Yeah, they can kill you. And this will probably go in an infinite loop only because. Yeah. There's. Another example is a bell system. So, for example, let's put that here because you know what? Give you some TNT. Oh, there goes a signal. Oh, hey, villager. How are you today? Here, do you want some rockets? Here. There you go. Oh, did that TNT activate? Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry. Oh. Well, didn't work. Anyhow, they can also be used for traps. Another thing I'd like to show really quick is this thing. 
I, I don't know if I count this as something that you guys should use in games because this can detect you up to 65 blocks. Like, what is this? If I enter the 65 block range, I don't have to be staring anything, it just activates. How this works is there's some some trap door glitch. Without this, it won't actually work. But for some reason, when you add a trap door, it, it does. So 64 player, or 65 block detection, eh. Kind of weird. I'm not sure how that works. If you guys can explain it to me, then I'd, I'd be appreciative of it. Now this thing, just to let you know, this actually won't work until we replace that. Why can't I do it? Oops. Okay. It was there. Uh, ignore those last few things you saw. Okay, there's not enough. Yeah. How this works is... Definitely trap test. Oh, I can open that and I'm fine. Oh, cool. We could just shove this full of TNT and we're fine. Impressive. Pretty cool. Oh, what's this? Oh. This activates an observer, which will drop multiple of an item because it's on a time circuit. So th this can be used for a trap. Obviously this one is, this one's actually quite obvious of a trap because, you know, everyone can see it. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. A rail trap is like, Mojang, what are you doing? This one, picking up items. Items also make sounds. So, for example, I can walk up here, hop, drop a block, it doesn't matter. But if I drop it in here, it is within the uh, sensor. So if I collect it, it makes an amazing secret base entrance. Imagine if you had a base here. Do you know how cool that would be? That would be like god tier. It's pretty sick. Now this thing is... Great. As L Again, items make sounds when you pick them up. So, yeah. So if we grab, let's say, some snowballs here. Because why would we not want to use snowballs? If we just throw a few, you can see that we got some really nice effects as it radiates. So you can see how far it extends. If I hit this one corner, if I hit this one corner, see that it actually extends seven blocks, but yeah, I, I don't know, that's pretty insane. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It, it's just insane how it works, I don't understand, but we can have a disco floor, a very loud disco floor. Yeah, it's very loud. Very loud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's check out this. This detects if the cat meows, because it can actually hear animals as well, which is really cool. So, I don't know, in theory, what I'm thinking you could do is if you had like enough cows. It was a constant thing, you could set this up, so like if this is detected on constantly, it kills off some cows, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I don't know, it could be useful. We're setting that cat free though. Get your butt. It's really cool, and I don't know why it's dispensing TNT. Gone. So vicious. And while we're here, we'll get this done and over with. Some more things with the Skulk sensor. Yes. Uh, yeah, this thing just gets really loud and very obnoxious. Wait. There we go. Yeah, that thing was very loud, so I, I just need to get rid of it, because 
why, why I keep something that's very loud. Uh, next thing! Yeah, yeah, let's go to the next thing. This thing. It is a lighting system, so it's pretty cool. And yeah, it's just on a very long timer, so if you're moving around, it will stay constantly lit. If you're not moving around, it will turn off after the timer is done. So, I'm not sure why you would want lighting off. I personally would like lighting to stay on, just my preference. But yeah, after a set amount of time, it does turn off when these comparators run out. It's tender. It's pretty cool. Andy. Uh, next, we have these doors. Let's go to the very, very basic. Running through? No problem. Up until you can't run because you changed your mind. Pretty cool, you get within the range of the skulk sensor and it basically opens up really automatically. It's really handy. Uh, except the problem is you'll still have mobs that can walk through it because all mobs will walk through it. Next here you have a very simple thing. Now this one, there's obviously ones that aren't going to be easily avoidable, but you can just be walking here. And yeah, it's just like, yeah, you have a lot of distance. I will say though, I really like this design for these pistons. It's really nice how it has the one tick setup. Uh, more compact when you have a regular uh, floor jab door essentially, but this one's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Don't know what I don't know what I'd do without it, you know? Very cool. Yes. Oh god, that went a lot farther than I thought. Okay, next thing. This is cool. what you can do is you can put in item, let's say a Sword. I need that. We, we even need the fighter to work. So if I put in that sword enchant, it detects that and it gives me enough lapis for the next enchanting. <laughs> Bless me. You're wondering why this is up here. It's because this wool again conducts sound. But if I just jumped on the crafting table, it would just activate and drop more, which I don't need. Very simple setup, skulk sensor, repeater, on a one tick, just a little clock that activates it does. It's pretty cool, it works handy as well. Next thing, one that I kind of would see as a pain, it would be a lot of a waste of redstone, is silent lights. As you can tell, ah, you don't even hear skulk sensors again. Be free. How this works is, I don't know, iffy, but that's because it seems a bit cheeky to me. This is at the bedrock layer. We have one of the. We have these things just in Narnia, detecting if we are down here. Without these, it doesn't work. A lot of slime and a waste of resources, I think. Yes, they're really handy. And they make a lot of noise, but automatic lights. I would, I'd probably still use pressure plates to be honest, because that much work and effort just for them to do that is a bit cheeky, especially using glitches, because those can be patched. The last one is something that can make or break you. So let me show you what I mean. Do this. Boom. It's something very cool I like, and if someone didn't know how to fly through or activate it, they would have just died in that wall. This works pretty simply. You gotta activate a firewall, a firework, within this entrance here. If you activate it any later, it won't activate and you'll probably die. So it's very simple. It activates a set of pistons. and. Quite frankly, if you miss it, you will die. So you want to make sure that you activate it. See if I don't do it here, you die. So... Pretty cool. And you just gotta be aware of it. But yes. 
See that trick shot? I I'm actually impressed that I did that. I don't know how I did that. Uh, can I do that again? Oh, I can't. Okay. Did I do that? I'm not good with Elytra, never said I have been. Oh. Okay, but I can sure uh, get into the wall. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little uh, video on Skulk sensors and the basics of how they work. Next video, hopefully next video, we will go over some simple and some advanced traps that you can do with these that are almost instant death or can be overpowered and some that can probably even kill you even if you have a full set of diamond armor enchanted with every single item in the game. And I will test all that out, show you guys just the generality overpoweredness of this update with the Skulk sensors. I will also show you guys some methods of how to prevent dying to some of these traps. Although the blast, the, the, the TNT one might be a little way overpowered, but it creates a lot of damage, so maybe not too many people will use it, but I will also show you ways to avoid that as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.